Kia ora, Year 12 and 13. This is one of the questions from Session 2 of Scholarship Calculus this year. So if you do have any questions after Mr Clark's sessions that you'd like me to do a video of, just send me an email and I'll see what I can do. So this is a really nice question because it illustrates a bunch of things that are important in scholarship calculus. One of them is reading it really carefully. Every little bit of information in a scholarship calculus problem comes in handy. The first bit that you might not notice on your way through is that we're told that 0 is less than A, which is less than B. So that's just another way of saying both the numbers are positive and B is bigger than A. Then the next thing we get told is that A squared plus B squared is equal to 6 AB. And from there, we have to find the value of this, A plus B, over A minus B. So the first thing, hopefully, that you'll think of is that, well, A squared plus B squared doesn't look like anything exactly useful. It's not a difference of two squares, but if you remember back to level two, A squared plus B squared is not the same as A plus B squared, but it is A squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So maybe I can do something to force this into this pattern. And I can do that really easily. I just add 2ab to each side. So we get a squared plus b squared plus 2ab is 8ab. And that gives me a plus b squared equals 8ab. Now I'm going to do the same thing for a minus b squared. a squared minus 2ab plus b squared is equal to a minus b squared. So we've got a squared plus b squared equals 6ab. I'm going to subtract 2ab from both sides. So now we have a minus b squared is equal to 4ab. So we're getting close to the end. We can write this a plus b squared over a minus b squared is equal to 8ab over 4ab. So it's looking good. These simplify and I'm left with 2. Now... Be careful here. We've got um, a plus b over a minus b squared is equal to 2. But we're not quite finished, so I'm going to use another slide. So there are two situations in the general case. So a plus b over a minus b could be either the positive or the negative square root of 2. But now we go back to our initial conditions and we have a look at what we had. So we've got 0 is less than A is less than B. So they're both positive and B is bigger than A. So that means that A plus B is always going to be positive and A minus B is going to be negative, which tells me that my final answer is not plus or minus root 2. It's just negative root 2. So there you go. Thanks for watching.